Okay, so I have a question. I've heard you talk about emotions and desires being a good thing lately, but what exactly is your opinion on emotions? Because I'm trying to walk the walk, but it seems like my emotions are always holding me down and fighting me. Well, in our humble opinion, it goes like this. You see, you start as a thought. That is to say, when you enter this experience, you are essentially just a thought. And in this vast universe, one of many, every aspect is rooted in thought. And within your own body, you are a thinking entity, with each thought representing a unique facet of free will within the world of your experience. So whether you refer to it as source, divine consciousness, or God, this higher power constantly seeks new perspectives and fresh viewpoints, and it does so through your thought experience. You see, it craves the diverse thoughts that come from each individual, as it adds to its own understanding and growth. To put it a little more precisely, it's like you're a thought of divine source embodied in a physical form. You're manifesting your essence through your physical presence. This means that you have two perspectives, your higher self, which is your larger source perspective, and the perspective you take on as you navigate life in your physical body. Learning to embrace both sides of this self will allow both perspectives to guide you through the experience. When you find yourself in a challenging situation, remember that you have two perspectives to consider by this concept. Your lower self is experiencing the physical aspects of life and shaping new thoughts and ideas along the way. Let's say, for example, you encounter a negative relationship, but at the same time, you are simultaneously creating the vision of your ideal relationship. While the lower self is dealing with the negative, your higher self tunes into the positive instantly, absorbing your desires and aspirations for something better. And in this way, you are essentially guiding your higher self towards your ultimate vision. This powerful connection is how true source learns and grows with you. See, you, here in your physical form, are playing a vital role in helping Source understand itself. Your desires are the key to this process, guiding Source towards new possibilities for growth and evolution. And this is why desire holds so much importance. By embracing your desires, you are actively participating in the expansion of Source and this universe. By trusting in this process, and allowing yourself to merge these two perspectives, you can manifest the reality you seek. So remember, your desires matter, as they are shaping the very fabric of your existence. Don't let anyone convince you that denying your desires is the path to fulfillment. Too often, this concept is misrepresented, either by misinterpreting ancient wisdom or by cherry-picking passages and that misunderstanding can be harmful. Saying no to your desires is essentially saying no to source, to your higher self. Think about it for yourself. How could desire be wrong? It can't, as long as it doesn't cause harm to you or others, whether mentally or physically. And remember, never accept someone else's opinion as your own truth, not even ours without first checking in with yourself. Trust your inner guidance. Keep dreaming, keep wanting, and keep creating a world that reflects your deepest wishes. Source is listening, and together, you are co-creating a reality filled with endless potential. Now, when you start to feel a desire deep within you, and let's go back to the bad relationship experience as an example, and of wanting to turn a negative relationship into a positive one, your higher self immediately tunes into this positive energy of wanting to change it around and becomes one with this new vibration of the positive relationship and begins to work on manifesting it. Remember, while you may not realize it's happening, your higher self never dwells on negative thoughts, but instead always aligns with your positive desires. So now, if your lower self starts thinking thoughts that go against this new vibration, thoughts like, I want to be in a relationship, but do I deserve to be in it? Or, I want this relationship, but I'm so bad at this. You're creating a disconnect within yourself. 
you're holding yourself out of alignment with that expanded version of this desire. The vision you've created through your experience here in your physical lower self. And so, in that moment, you begin to feel the emotional signal of this disconnect. The gap between where you are now, where your desires are, and where your higher self stands. This emotional state can be understood as a scale, with each emotion representing a level towards unity with the higher self. The higher you climb on this scale, the closer you get to freedom, joy, and alignment with your true desires. Each upward shift in emotion takes you further into the space of well-being and expansion. So in essence, your emotions used as a tool reveal the distance between where you currently are, where your desires lie, and where your higher self already exists in alignment with those desires. This is crucial because when you connect with your emotions, they become your real-time guide, showing you if you're moving toward or away from what you want. The better you feel, the closer you are to the reality you've envisioned and created. On the other hand, the worse you feel, the more you're resisting that creation and drifting in the opposite direction. Think of it this way. Emotions are your internal guidance system. They're like an inner compass that helps you navigate this landscape of experience and desire. Every time you feel an emotion, it's communicating to you exactly where you stand in relation to your desires, to the expanded version of what your higher self has already become. So start to think of emotions as the bridge between the physical experience and the non-physical experience. When you tune into how you feel through emotion, and this is very important, without judgment and without resistance, you're essentially tuning into the level of where your higher self resides. You're aligning with the purest part of your experience, the part that has no resistance, no doubt, and no fear. And so the powerful part of this starts when you deliberately begin to pay attention to how you feel and adjust your focus accordingly, you begin to harness the creative power within yourself consciously. For example, rather than dwelling on the negative aspects of a situation, you can now use your emotions as a guide to gently pivot your attention toward a level that feels better. While this shift might be subtle at first, over time, it moves you closer to alignment with your desires, as well as your higher self, and opens up space for new experiences to flow in. It's almost as if your emotions are the language of your higher self, signaling to you how close your desires, thoughts, and beliefs are to match up with the expanded vision. When you feel joy, peace, or excitement through emotions, you are in sync with your desires and are standing in the flow of that expanded state. When you feel resistance, doubt, or fear, it's simply an indicator to adjust your perspective, to let go of beliefs that don't serve you, and to realign with your higher self. Emotions aren't just reactions to what's happening around you. They are important indicators of your alignment with your higher self and its potential. As you start to pay close attention to them and allow them to guide you, then you can begin to move through this experience with greater clarity, connection, and creativity. You can begin to manifest happiness. By doing so, my friends, you're not only experiencing life in lower self mode, but you're actively co-creating it with Source, with each thought, feeling, and desire, shaping the expansion of your higher self and your experience here. We thank you for being part of our experience, and we hope your emotions begin to lead you toward joy and fulfillment. Remember, we love you all, and remind you to walk in light. Until next time, my friends, I ask all people everywhere to plant seeds of love, peace, joy, and oneness.